I'm so excited to be able to review this style again. I have reviewed this one before, but it's always neat to kind of compare notes with how I felt about this a couple of years when it came out. But first, let's take a look at this color. One of my favorite colors by Raquel Welch. It's different and unique, and it's so lovely on so many different styles. Praline Foil is a light ash brown. So you're gonna find a base color of a very light ash brown, and that just sets the stage for this uh, pale gold blonde foiling. They always concentrate the foiling on the top and the front and then kind of feather it back into the style. And I think this shaggy style perfectly, perfectly displays this color. So this is one mid-length style with bangs that I actually really enjoy. The bang area is about four and a half inches that comes straight down off of the front of the cap. There's really no curvature to them and then they can be swept right above the eyebrow in any direction. They can be also trimmed if you have a little bit of a shorter forehead. The four and a half inch bang seems to fit me perfectly. Those bangs, what I love about the bangs is they're not too heavy and thick. It almost seems like they've been layered just a little bit and thinned out or texturized just to give you that wispy appeal. And that carries out throughout the whole front of this style. So in the back, it's about 10 inches from the crown down and overall right around 12 inches. There is some layering here on the sides as well. And some of that layering has kind of a forward swept movement in true shag style. So that's really gonna come in and sort of frame the face so nicely. This style weighs about four ounces, so about 3.9 ounces. It features an open cap, but then it has a little bit of monofilament crown right there on the top. That just gives you a little bit of an indentation there where the hair grows out. I think it is a nice natural look. Um, however, I don't think that it's quite necessary for this style. So there's no lace front and no other monofilament on this style. So you're going to see a, a completely permatease top other than that mono crown. And I'll show you the cap here in just a moment. So this is one of those shag cuts that are completely straight. You're going to see a little bit of an undulating waves throughout this style that really enhance those layers and kind of contribute to that forward swept movement. It's tousled, it's messy, it's cute. I think they've also gone in and texturized all the ends here as well. This is a very modern update to a shaggy style, and you're going to see lots of razoring and tapering there at the ends. This is an average density style. I don't think that it's overly dense, nor is it considered to be a lightweight style or a light density style. Some of the layering kind of give it a wispy feel on the head, um, but I really think that this is pretty much an average density. There's quite a bit of permatease on this, so what you're going to want to know is this. This is a bit of an interesting design for the cap, um, and there's no lace front. So you're going to find right at the cap, at the front hairline there, you're going to start to see a lot of permatease right there. And that permatease will stretch all throughout the top of the cap and crown. You're going to see some at the temple back and a little heavier here at the nape. So the permanent tease doesn't seem to be overdone on this piece that I have and what you'll want to do is just kind of pluck those fibers away from the permanent tease and just sort of get on top and just pluck it out a little bit. That'll help the bangs lay maybe a little more naturally as well. It'll contribute to some of the more wispy movement um, but you really can't see down into any permanent tease. And then there's that monofilament right there on the top. So I can hear the shouts going up now. This is not a heat friendly style. This is made from the regular synthetic fiber uh, by Raquel Welch. Raquel Welch's Memory Cap 3. You'll notice the silicone covered elastic on the cap. This is meant for a custom like fit and also closed felted ear tabs. The cap features a two inch diameter of monofilament directly on top of the crown and that is surrounded by permatease. 
There's an extended felted nape with Velcro type adjusters. It fits average right out of the box, but it does have some pretty good stretch. I did have to cinch it in quite a bit to accommodate my petite average circumference. So this style is right out of the box. I didn't add any product and I didn't do any styling to it ahead of this review. So let's go ahead and take a look at glasses. Now I did try this and it appears that the glasses would be best and most securely fit if you slip them underneath the ear tab. The ear tabs are a little beefy and there's some permatease there that kind of push out the arms. I suggest tucking that under the ear tab. take a look at these bangs. I think you're really going to love them. When you first get it on, uh, give, make sure that you give the wig a couple of really nice shakes if you plan to keep the style and not return it. The next thing I want you to do, as I said, just kind of spring that, that uh, top a little bit away from the permatees and then just take your fingers like a rake and sweep those bangs into the desired position. That's going to bring out their wispiness. So here we're sweeping from uh, right to left. which is a cute way of wearing those. And then let's go ahead and sweep them from left to right. Also, you could kind of scoop them straight down and then just separate them around the eyebrow there more of a straight down look. There's enough layering there to keep the density down around the face. I think ear tucks will uh, do a nice job of staying behind the ear on their own. for joining me today for the review of Stop Traffic in the color Praline Foil R13 F25. Be sure to check out the links at Wig Studio One. See you next time on Taz's Wig Classic.